Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing, what, what, wobbing, what, what, wobbing. When I come around, got the whole thing wobbing, what, what. Today, guys, we have Headliners Part 2 reveals, and if you guys are curious, Headliners Part 2 is dropping tomorrow. Unfortunately, they did not show us Justin Jefferson's stats. We have to wait until tonight to see those, but we do have Holland stats and all the other cards as well, and some information on the XP that we're going to be able to earn. Now, I do want to give a shout-out to Turtle for being a part of the Naughty Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subs to the channel. Turn the notification bell on and comment down below, Naughty Gang. And also, guys, if you want to check out Underdog Fantasy, we of course have the NFL season coming up, but we have the NFL preseason right now and the $10 million prize pool tournament Best Ball Mania 3 filling up very quickly. So you guys can use code ZERK to match your first deposit up to $100 and follow me over on Twitter for my picks. And maybe or maybe not, a little birdie told me there's going to be a new special as well with the NFL preseason week three. Check it out. All right, so let's go over these headliners. And as I did say, guys, yeah, we do have to wait until tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern uh, for them to reveal Justin Jefferson. I might be making a video tonight when they do reveal Justin Jefferson. So we'll see. They also didn't mention anything about LTDs. I'm hoping we get some, but... I don't know if they're going to. I think it's interesting they decided to drop this promo on Thursday, though, instead of on, you know, Friday. Well, that's usually when promos would drop. So we'll just have to see about that. But as you guys can see, these are the low golds for Headliners Part 2. Uh, and also, if you guys saw my video made on the leaks of this promo, right? We already knew about Holland. That's how we already know about Justin Jefferson. But of the 86 overall players... One player didn't get shown, and that was Mitchell Trubisky. So we don't know what's going on with that. Will there be a part three to this promo? I have absolutely not a clue. But we do have Al Woods right here. These are the high golds. Nothing really too crazy. Michael Carter, Tommy Tremble right there. Uh, getting into the elites, though, we have Asante Samuel Jr. I actually really, really like Asante Samuel Jr. I wish this card was a little bit better and a higher overall because maybe, maybe he would make the team uh, depending on his stats. But he has 82 speed, 83 excel, 84 agility, 82 man, 80 zone, and 78 press. We also have Jeremiah Owosu Koromora. Koromoa? I think I said that correctly, right? Jeremiah Owosu Koromoa. Now let me know, Browns fans. I know a lot of people just call him Jock, but he has 81 speed, 82 excel, uh, 80 play rec, that's about it. Nothing else really on that card. Uh, Danico Autry right here, 75 speed, 77 excel, 81 block shed, and 81 power move on him. 82 overall, Cody White here. He has 79 strength, 81 pass block, and 82 run block. And then we have 82 overall, Jared Goff. 70 speed, 84 throw power, 81 short, 79 medium, and 77 deep accuracy. And as well, Reggie Gilliam. Shout out to him. I know he actually watched the channel watches a lot of Madden content and is uh, pretty big over in like the Madden community but he has 80 speed 81 run blocking 79 carrying I'm actually using his core elite card right now so nice little upgrade for me now we're getting into the 86 overalls guys we have Eddie Jackson wish the card was faster I was a little bit worried that Eddie Jackson would be a little slow it seems like EA Loves to not really juice his speed. He's got 83 speed, 85 excel. Does have great zone coverage though. 85, 81 hit power, 82 man, 85 play rec. I think it's just a tad bit slow though. Corey Littleton here. He has 80 speed, 81 acceleration, 81 tackling, 76 block shed. So just another outside linebacker, but yeah, not very interested in that card. Javante Williams. This card is really 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 good now he comes with built-in bulldozer and i think they said he has the second highest trucking rating in the game i think that derrick henry i want to say is who they said as higher i think derrick henry does but 87 trucking is crazy 85 break tackle 86 carrying 84 speed 83 excel and he's got 80 change of direction you know he's not going to be sticky at all but for a power back i mean hey this could be a pretty solid card. And I know Broncos theme teams, you guys are really, really excited about getting Javante Williams. I'm a Javante Williams fan too. So I like this card a lot. Uh, I think, honestly, like picking him up as like a goal line back, that could really be the move. It might be something that I do there. Now we also have Lane Johnson, 82 strength, 83 pass block, 86 run block. Uh, getting into Tyler Shatley as the final 86 overall. He has 84 pass block, 84 run block, and 86 strength. 
Now we get into Javon Holland's stats, which I have to say, I did not see his stats looking like this, right? I thought the car would be good, but I didn't think they'd be this good. 88 speed with 87 acceleration. He also has 87 play rec, 87 man, and 89 zone coverage with 87 hit power. I mean, this is definitely the best free safety in the game. Now, of course, I do have Ronnie Lott on my team, as I'm sure a lot of you guys probably also have Ronnie Lott on your team as well. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to get rid of Ronnie Lott. I think he might just be uh, moving over a little bit because Ronnie Lott is very, very good. But this Jamon Holland, I mean, dude, speed, hit power, man zone i want to say holland is 6'2 as well if i recall correctly if you're curious about the ability that he has on him he does have deep out zone ko so yeah that card is going to be just disgusting by far my best safety in the game if you compare him with ronnie lott have them both on the field and then if you have like cam chancellor uh daxton hill has been an incredible card for me that card's gonna be insane. This actually does give me hope, though. I will say this. I thought for sure that when Justin Jefferson got revealed, which he hasn't been revealed yet, that he will have 86 speed. I think he might have 87, because if they were willing to give Holland 88, Justin Jefferson might just have 87 speed. Now, also, we do have this information on the headliners uh, with XP. Obviously, right now, with just everything going on in the game, if you are really, really up there with your field pass, like, personally, I'm really up there with my field pass, it's getting very, very hard to level up, but now we have a bunch of new objectives coming in. So 30 new challenges, new objectives to complete the headliners field pass. Win a game with 20 headliners on your team, you get 3,000 XP. That's pretty wild, but I mean, hey, if you want to go pick up a bunch of low gold headliners, sure. Complete 10 headliner sets, you get 1,500 XP. Get 5 interceptions in head-to-head -head or solo battles, 10 interceptions, 20 interceptions, all of those count for XP. Win 10 head-to-head -head or solo battle games while keeping your opponent under 200 passing yards, all the way up to 50 gets you XP. Complete 5 head-to-head -head games with a headliners player in your lineup, 2,000 XP, and get 50 tackles and house rules. Uh, we also have score 15 TDs and house rules. So I like to see the added XP coming in. And also, with the new headliner solos, this is something I've been waiting on because currently there are not enough stars to get up enough in the headliners field pass to complete like the get this many stars, get this much XP, which is a ton of XP that I've been missing out on. Because if you earn 120 stars in headliners challenges, you get 1,000 XP for that pass. If you earn 150 stars, you get another 1,000. And if you earn 180 stars, you get another 1,000. So guys, that is everything that I have for you guys today regarding headliners part two. I do not know if there is going to be a headliners part three, but as I said, tonight they will be revealing Justin Jefferson. I might make a video on the card. Uh, we'll just see, but I'm really, really hoping that they will drop some LTDs as well. So with that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like on it. Hit that sub button. See you guys next time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, check these out.